If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer, football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. If you're from UK, this is not for you. FCA doesn't allow any advertisements. So Bitcoin, where will it bottom? There was a really nice pump of the news of the survival of Braveheart uh, Donald Trump, but I still think we are not out of the woods. So in this video, I'm going to tell you my exact thoughts, what is happening in the market. And then I'm going to also tell you when will be the Bitcoin bottom. And I also, in addition, I will tell you what I bought recently. This is the video you cannot miss. My old subscribers know this is one of my favorite indicators, which is the Heiken Ashi candles. So. Just a quick reminder, uptrends are characterized by large candle bodies, upper wicks, no lower wicks or very, very small lower wicks. Uptrend here, uptrend here. So this is uh, weekly. You can uh, swap to hourly, you can uh, swap to monthly. You can get a bigger view. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. Okay, downtrends are opposite. So you have large candle bodies, lower wicks and very, very minimal upper wicks. So that's a clear downtrend if you just look into weekly okay so this pump is because i think no one can stop donald trump becoming president so based upon this trend i think bitcoin is still in the red and on top of that there is seven to eight billion i repeat seven to eight billion worth of bitcoin which is going to be available to the creditors to the people uh, who lost everything in mount cox uh, scandal now Top 1% of these people are actually the whales. They own the majority. Whether or not they're going to sell is anyone's guess. But let's assume they're going to sell everything. So Germany government uh, sold few billions, which took a week for the market to absorb. So 9 billion maybe will take another 3-4 months to absorb. But again, for me, this is buying opportunity. Uh, th for me, this is another opportunity to DCAN. Majority of my positions are Bitcoin and Ethereum. All of you already know what altcoins I hold. Now let's just, for the sake of it, just to teach you. So these are Heiken Ashi candles. You can actually just switch to one day. Okay, so let's see what's happening. So now, again, uptrends, large candle bodies, upper wicks, downtrends, large candle bodies, lower wicks. So this was a clear downtrend. And again, if you go buy daily candles, it seems as if the trend is reversing so this could be 54 262 actually let's go by this week here it is 53 541 i think that is the bottom the mount gox thing is just overrated i think it's just making people worry a lot majority of the bitcoins from mount gox scandal they are among the top one to two percent those are the bitcoin ogs founders of kraken founders uh, of mount gox uh, really big companies and, and they're not stupid. I don't think they will sell. And the bottom, <laughs> you know, they don't really hold that much. So I think uh, this is just FUD. I really don't think it's going to massively impact the price. Now let's assume everything is sold. And I think in that case, Bitcoin can fall down to, I don't know, um, 40,000 max, 45,000. So I, I really don't think that's going to be the case. I think this was the bottom here 53656 or whatever okay okay so that's now the technical uh, analysis that i wanted to talk to you okay i am obviously sad uh, i think there is a reason why trump was targeted he's saying that he's going to end the ukraine war the american economy the western economy is based upon war industry it's based upon killing people and trump is saying he's going to be peaceful he's going to be ending the war I don't think this is what the powers to be like or not like. Now, who am I to discuss this? Who am I to suggest anything like this? What I'm going to tell you, what I learned from this, if this bullet was few mm in this direction, Bitcoin would have tanked to 20k. I have leveraged long positions on Nullis, on Bybit, on Maxi, all of those would have been liquidated. So all I want you all to remember, it's a very, very risky game. Have your stop losses. On Nolus, for now, we can't have a stop loss. 
I hope uh, I'm working with the team. You all know I work for Nolas. So I am hoping we can introduce that. But this was very scary moment as a technical analyst, as a crypto holder that had that bullet hit Trump. Even if he survived it, even if he was saved, Bitcoin would have tanked because he's being now touted as the crypto president. All of you need to think about this. That's how fragile your technical analysis is. That's how fragile your positions are in crypto. So do not risk anything you can't afford to lose. Please, please. Okay, now that is out of my heart here. I'm gonna focus on what I bought. So what did I buy? So again, I will request you to create my holes, for example, this is all the coins that hold and Bitcoin is majority, Ethereum is also majority now, uh, BNB, Solana. A mid curve move here is just buying these. That's it. You don't really need to buy anything else. Okay, just buy, send it to Ledger, done. However, I did buy a big chunk of injective. What did else? I did buy a cash as well. Okay, I did buy a cash around three dollars. So um, I did buy a cash when it was twenty five cents. I did buy a cash when it was fifty cents. I did buy a cash when it was uh, seventy eight cents. So those are the majority of the buys. But um, I did buy it recently as well. And the idea is you need to double down on your horses. Bets are placed on horses, not donkeys. Identify the donkeys of your portfolio. Get rid of them. Move the money to your horses. My horses are Tia, Injective, uh, Pithis. Um, I, did, I did buy actually uh, some Pith as well, but not in this crash, but in the previous uh, crash. But again, if you guys want to see what I hold, I'm going to scroll down <laughs> just for you to look. So I have Astar. Uh, this is the painful uh, ape coin. I still hold Terra. <laughs> I'm a survivor of the Terra crash. I have tons and tons of DYDX now. The token unlocks are killing the price, but you do get a cut in the fees. It's a premier trading uh, platform. There was a recent hack in the in the scare space uh, domains that, that host some of these. And again, that exposes how risky uh, this business is. So again, be very, very careful. But I'm staking everything. I'm getting USDC every day. I have Dimension from Airdrop, Fast Token. It's a gambling slash Balkan uh, company. Lots and lots of casinos. Uh, these are Glimmer, I think. I have Zig, uh, Neutron. I love Neutron. I love Spade. <laughs> you all know, all know that. Cody is one of my picks uh, from the previous uh, bull run. Saga, I bought big chunks without realizing the corruption, but I still have it. I really, really hope it does well. Stride, I work for Stride. Again, it's a massive portfolio I have of Stride. Uh, most of the Stride I bought around 20 cents. I think then I bought around 70 or 80 uh, cents. This is the meme coin that did more than 1000x for me. I am probably the only YouTuber on the planet to pick this first and it's a strong community. I am actually thinking of buying more. I did sell the top, I'm not gonna lie, for a change. <laughs> that usually doesn't happen, but I did sell the top. I took off, I think 50% of this position. My $50 of investment in NPC at one point was worth 18,000 uh, USDC. I sold half, bought Bitcoin, sent it to Ledger, remaining position i'm gonna hold forever i'm actually thinking of buying more it's a very very strong meme coin no youtubers on the planet is talking about it but do research akala vortex is another one i get sweet 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 usdc every day so i have tons and tons of vortex i've staked it strike x is another one of my 200x i love what kish is doing i love what joe is doing again this is from the previous uh, bull market very hard working people so I'm going to hold that forever. Gamey, another really, really doing very well. They were really hit hard by a lot of issues. There was, a, I think, hack. As a result, they tanked. But Binance are behind them. I'm not going to go everything. There is some scammer pads from previous uh, bull market, like KCC pad, like Bluezilla. They are the biggest scammers on the planet. And I regret all of this. But I lost around twenty to $30,000. Honestly, I'm not going to say I am the best. All my picks are the best. I'm just going to tell you I am a degen like you, okay? So that's all I have to say today. And uh, I'm keen to know your thoughts. But I was this close to getting liquidated on many, many positions. And, you know, 
God save America. God save Donald Trump. And I think nothing can stop Trump now. Fingers crossed, we need to get rid of this criminal lefty uh, people from our society. Far right, what they say is not really far right. It's actually right. So the lefties have coined the term far right, you know, paint people who are on right, people who want to work, who want to pay their taxes, who want to see the society do well. Okay? So I, I don't know, guys. I'm very emotional. I think the portfolio, you know, the money. It's just the way West is going. It's heartbreaking for hardworking people like us who, who are actually you know, just working very, very hard to make the ends meet, get the families uh, decent bread. And then you have this gun industry, uh, weapons industry, who is just killing people, innocent people, left and right. Doesn't matter where on planet. I hope that stops. I hope peace prevails. Why can't we come together, work hard and play the game of economy? Let's produce the best things for humanity. Let's treat the biggest diseases on the planet. Let's cure cancer. Let's predict who's going to get heart attack. 10 years in advance. Yeah, let's use artificial intelligence. Let's use machine learning to basically solve every single problem on the planet. We have to stop this madness. This killing, this violence has to stop. Sorry guys, Taranjit out.